Hi! So that little intro was from yesterday. I did try and film this video yesterday, but I just feel like a lot safer and a lot more comfortable in my bedroom filming, whereas I know that the walls are really thin in my living room slash kitchen. It's like all one thing. I can always hear my neighbours, so the idea of them hearing me talk to a camera I can't. I'm not at that stage yet. Soon, but not yet. And it's really annoying because my like living room area is so much nicer. I've got like wooden floors and there's no like magnolia paint, which I don't want to talk about. And I've got like art up on the walls and it's just like a lot more of a vibe, whereas my bedroom's a bit kind of, I don't know. It's cute and it's getting there, but like the dark gray, like uni carpet. And I'm still very much on the lookout for like a big piece of artwork to put behind my bed. Cause there's a lot of like blank white wall space, but art is so expensive. So we're refilming the video now. I thought, cause it's mothering Sunday, what better way to celebrate than to do like a styling video of my favorite pieces from my mom's house. If you're new here, hi. The reason that my username on everything on my YouTube, on my Instagram, on my TikTok, on my Depop, it's daughter of a hoarder because I am the daughter of a hoarder obviously my mum is a genuine hoarder and she has just like the most obscene amount of clothing ever it's all around the house and like around her bed and in the hallways and like in our old bedrooms but she's also got these storage units and it's like very much out of hand but I've spent the last three years kind of flipping it and turning it into like a positive thing in my life and I've been helping her sort of clear through it and when we clear through the stuff say there's like we go through 10 items she'll keep like six I'll take like three and then one she might be like oh we can donate that so I've been selling her clothes for the last couple of years and also I've just been like and keeping stuff myself obviously because it's like all stunning vintage she just had really great taste and what really annoys me is that she doesn't have like loads of photos that i can show you of her wearing these clothes i asked her to send me some pictures of her like looking stylish in some of her old clothes and she sent me these <laughs> Like, what am I supposed to do with that? That's not helpful. She gives me all these things and I'm like, do you know how much I would die to see a photo of you in this? The pieces are insane. And she used to have a secondhand designer store. And then when that closed, she was kind of like running it from home. Um, a lot of the stuff she didn't buy at full price. Like she's like a major bargain queen. It just seems like she just hasn't thrown away anything ever. So there's just like an abundance of clothes and I love going through it. Like it's so much fun. I also think this whole thing has fed into my individuality complex because growing up on a small island, when like online shopping wasn't really a thing everyone is kind of wearing the same thing from like that small top shop on the high street or like new look or whatever and I just used to hate it so I always used to like find things around the house and wear it of my mum's so I've kind of always grown up wearing her clothes but ever since I started this platform daughter of a hoarder it's like very much become my whole personality at this point but I love it and I feel like ever since I've started this I've really felt like myself which is nice and it's just something I love and I kind of have just inherited the problem like I now just my life sorting out clothes and that is what her problem is and like you'll start you'll start doing something and then halfway through you'll be like i can't be bothered but then that's the problem because that's when you have to push through because otherwise you'll just be going to bed with loads of clothes on the floor and i think that if i didn't live with my boyfriend last night i would have just gone to sleep with clothes all around me because i just was not in the mood to put it all away knowing i would have to get it all back out again i've done a few tiktoks in the past showing off like pieces i found in her house her activewear sets which i'm about to show you people go nuts over these and they are stunning so fair enough um her swimwear again people love when i show her old swimwear like she has like five piece sets of swimwear it's like i just i can't juicy couture as well do you know what we're gonna get into all of that let's just take it back a few steps so anything that i find in her house that i'm allowed to either have or sell i'll obviously try on and if it suits me i'll keep it but my mum is like a dress size or two smaller than me little witch so unfortunately a lot of the stuff that we find i actually don't keep and sometimes it keeps me up at night when i think about the things that I've sold because I'm like why thankfully I had to actually start my depop again because I was having PayPal issues whereas I think if I could actually sit and look at all of the listings of my mum's stuff that I had sold I would lose my mind so in this video I'm gonna show you and style pieces in my wardrobe that used to be my mum's I'm wearing this jumper right my mum used to have so many sloppy joe jumpers and I think the shape is just so nice it's the perfect like slouchy jumper all of my friends try it on and they're obsessed and I'm pretty sure you can actually still buy sloppy joe jumpers 
jumpers. This one is like super old and like tattered, but it's just really like comforting and crazy to me. And my mom like used to wear them when she was pregnant with like me and my siblings. But underneath, so she's got all these sets, right? And they're USA Pro. And I've really only just worn them as like sports stuff before, but I have kind of more recently been trying to incorporate them with like actual outfits, like not just wearing them to exercise or like lounge about in. But I am just gonna show you all the sets now. I know I really need a wide angle camera lens so you can see like more, but right now this is as good as it's gonna get. Because these gym sets are like at least 20 years old and the same goes for the swimwear. The elastic like obviously isn't as good as it once was and the recoil I think is the right term. Again, like probably was better once upon a time. But the color of this set I've always just been so in love with and I just think for me it's always given brats but I don't know why. I've literally just got it on with some little Uggs and my mom's like vintage Louis Vuitton purse and I actually, well purse, bag, I actually do have the matching purse. All of this I think looks quite cute with this vintage D&G cardigan that used to be my mum's. I feel like it just kind of ties it in together and makes it look slightly less just like a gym look. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of giving wag, which I'm fine with. I also think these leggings work really well with my new Peachy Den Russo jacket. Like I just kind of feel like that's like a bit of a vibe. Do you know what I mean? I'm going for lunch after this and I'm honestly quite tempted to wear this little set. Okay, this is another USA Pro set. I actually am obsessed with this one. I just like haven't worn the trousers because I feel like I do need the next size up. And I have like listed them for sale and then taken them down because I don't wanna like part ways with them. The like dip V, the zip here, and the colorway is so cute, but I just, I don't know. Also, I think they're supposed to be like very much flared at the bottom and they're just kind of like not on me, so. This is like another USA Pro set. I actually got this top cropped. I kind of regret it because now I don't want anything that cropped anymore, but it is a very cute set nonetheless. I always think that this one is like one of my favorites just because I love purple so much. And I like the like two-tone, I think it's so cute. There's like a matching sports bra as well, but this top is like kind of lined anyway. This set is Banana Moon. It's got like a little zip up. I love the contrasting orange. This color of like purple is my fave. It's a very like dance class inspired look. The sketches I got on eBay, these little like sheer mesh blue socks with the banana moon shorts for my mum's and this lace vest is also from my mum's and then I got these sleeves. They're actually just like little Hollister sleeves but I think they're really cute and they, they kind of tie in with the orange here and the orange here. I'm just obsessed with this look. Okay I meant what I said when I said I wasn't going to get into my bikini. This is obviously just to show you what it is. I feel like this kind of set is so good for London in the city because like I don't always feel comfortable getting into like a full-on bikini in like a park but something like this is slightly more modest so I feel a bit more covered up. There's also this, which is like a five piece set. It's like a little tankini. It's got matching like little booty shorts, but then there's also like a bikini set, which I am selling because I just prefer the tankini version. Um, and it comes with a little matching sarong. I love a good sarong, especially like a mesh one. So there's this little bikini, which I am keeping because the shape I think is so flattering. And this is the little top. It's so cute. I have worn this last summer. I think it's adorbs. I just got the straps on this swimsuit fix but I'm not so much a swimsuit girl so I think I'm gonna sell it. Keep an eye out on my Depop if you're interested and of course there's a matching sarong and this one is like it turns into like a little skirt which is cute. It's got like little ties it's not just like a normal sarong. I actually got Sojo to add a drawstring at the bottom of these capris just in case I wanted to wear them like a little bit more rolled up so that they're a little bit shorter but I actually kind of like them the length they are as well so it's nice to just have the option and then I've just got it with some little sporty kitten heels that I got on vintage. This dress I cannot show you the back of because I can't get the zip up and so my butt is like poking out the top. It was actually supposed to be zipped up all the way at the back and then I had the zip shortened because it kind of finishes at my waist and then I added some eyelets so you can lace it up. Just because I found it in my mum's house when I was clearing out stuff with her and I just fell in love with it. It's so stunning. She has so much Paul Smith and anything we find that is Paul Smith, I always just think is such nice quality and it's really unique. So I haven't actually had somewhere to wear this dress to yet. Like look at the fur trim and I just think the shape of the denim, it's all just really like flattering and very sexy. And then I've got it on with some little brown Roberto Viani heels that I got on Vintage. Okay, the battery died so I had to take my camera off the tripod but this is the little 
mirror vision of this dress. It's like a dark chocolate espresso brown and I just love like a slinky little dress. My mum has an insane amount of juicy couture, right? And we found this little zip up hoodie. I asked her if she had the matching bottoms and she said, I don't know, maybe somewhere. Do you know how many green or khaki or olive variations there are of juicy couture? Loads. So I went on like a massive, massive hunt and I literally found, I would say that's an identical match. So we found this little cowl neck, gray, slinky top, and it's by Gap. And then we found this like ruched zip up mesh Mark Kane jacket. Moving on to this little dress, this is Dolce & Gabbana. I'm pretty sure it's lingerie because it's kind of see-through. This little like lace trim, I think it's such a flattering little neckline. And it's kind of somewhat asymmetrical. It was actually supposed to be knee length and I got it altered and I'm happy with this length. I wouldn't mind a few more inches in the front now, but it makes for a perfect dress over trousers length. Let me show you. These are just some little low rise suit trousers that I found in Paris in like a thrift store. I think the way this material sits on top of the trousers is really nice and flattering as well thank you so much for watching if you haven't already leave me a comment like the video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon